good morning students welcome to today's class uh, we are discussing about non linear effects in optical fiber so we have already discussed scattering that is stimulated scattering stimulated scattering of two types that is stimulated raman scattering and stimulated brilliant scattering now we are discussing about a carrier effect okay this is another type of important uh, Non-linear effects which are seen in optical fiber. In carrier effect, optical carrier effect is also called optical carrier effect. A carrier effect is a result of intensity dependence of the refractive index of an optical fiber leading to the phase constant. Okay, that is here the optical fiber depends upon the intensity. In optical fiber, the intensity is depends upon the refractive index of the optical fiber, which will leads to the phase constant. Okay, a phase shift that is called a curve effect. Okay, I will tell once more. The optical curve effect is as a result of dependence of refractive index with intensity. That is, with the varying intensity depends upon the refractive index also varies, and uh as the yeah. intensity varies diffracting index also varies which will results in the phase shift in the optical signal okay electro optic effects refers to changes in the refractive index of a material induced by the application of an external field this field modulates the optical properties of the devices okay so in electro optic effects okay Carrier effect is a type of electro optic effect. Electro optic effect is nothing but the changes in refractive index is due to the application of an external field. With external electric field, uh, electromagnetic field, we apply it. That is why our refractive index changes produce an electro optic effect. Okay. This field modulates the optical props of the device. Okay. Electro optic effects are classified as first and second order effects okay so if this carrier effect is a type of electro optic effects that is when a external field or when the application of an external field the refractive index will change okay so here the intensity of light that is when a external light is passing through a medium so the a, the field is due to the light itself okay the field is electric field is produced due to light so an optical light passes through a medium the intensity of the light is different for different regions right so due to this intensity of light the refractive index of the fiber will changes which will lead to a phase shift in the optical signal that is called carrier effect now electro optic effects can be classified into two that is first order and second order let the refractive index n be a function of applied electric field that is consider the refractive index n as a function of applied electric field so n is equal to n of e so expanding this by a taylor series in e we get we then expand this function as that is change in refractive index that is n cap is equal to or n dash is equal to n plus a1 e plus a2 e square plus a3 e cube etc this is a taylor series of n of e right n plus a1 e plus a2 e square plus etc the coefficient a1 is called a linear electro optic effect that is first order electro optic effect we already said electro optic effects render type under first order and second order the coefficient of a1 e a1 the coefficient in the the coefficient a1 a1 the coefficient in the the coefficient a1 is called a linear electro optic effect the coefficient a2 is called a second order electro optic effects okay and the higher order terms have been found to be negligible for the highest practical electric field they are ignored higher order uh, high electric field i tell the ignore you know e cube e raised to four so higher order i tell uh, terms are number negligible and other can only ignore and so we are considering only these two order so coefficient a1 is called a linear electro optic effect 
and coefficient a2 is called a second order electro optic effect ok the change in refractive index n is due to the linear term is called a pockels effect ok that is the first order electro optic effect the change in n is called pockel effect that is change in n refractive index due to linear term is called pockels effect that is delta n is equal to a1 e ok E A1 E that is the second term E A1 E that is E in the first order and we will do the pockels effect okay then the change in N due to second order term is called curve effect refractive index change due to second order term second order term on down the refractive index change in the area curve effect okay so from this delta N change in refractive index is called change in refractive index is a2 e square that is the third term or second order term a2 e square so delta n is equal to a2 e square then we can replace a2 as lambda k into e square ok we can replace a2 as lambda k then we get the change in refractive index is equal to lambda k e square here k is the curve coefficient measured in meter per volt square right then also lambda is the wavelength of light then curve effect this is called curve effect therefore lambda is the wavelength of light where k is the curve effect coefficient measured in meter per volt square typical value of curve coefficient of glass glass in the curve coefficient in the value and a 3 into 10 raised to minus 15 meter per volt square so the uh, unit of curve coefficient is meter per v square volt square meter per volt square meter m plus sorry volt la velocity sorry volt electric field in the volt sorry meter per volt square and the k and the unit so uh, the typical value of glass in the curve coefficient the value and 3 into 10 raised minus, minus 15 meter per volt square ok all material exhibit curve effect ok all materials in the kanikum curve effect kanikum gallium arsenide is also exhibit curve effect so an example of gallium arsenide is also exhibit curve effect the curve effect is a change in the refractive index of a material in response to the electric field ok curve effect is a refractive index of a material in response to electric field electric field is uh, a refractive index of changes in the curve effect ok in optical curve effect that is the main curve effect in the optical curve effect the electric field is due to the light itself we have light on the electric field and down ok so light will immediately load and transmit to you by the light intensity changes varium. that is called change in intensity is called electricity that is electric field produce you due to this change in intensity of light uh, the change uh, the refractive index will change due to this uh, a phase is shifted this causes a variation in the refractive index which is proportional to the local irradiance of light this refractive index variation is responsible for nonlinear optical effect ok here refractive index will changes on down and nonlinear optical effects form j ok so or light or media through the transmit a light in the intensity change a ok our light in the intensity change either on turn and in the refractive index will change very refractive index normal refractive index will have a change when now the losses and now that loss is called nonlinear effects in optical fiber that is the light passing through the nonlinear medium ok I'm gonna add a number the you do carry effect to garner down the nonlinear effects and again loss from from gym ok that's all about curve effect curve effects is nothing but it's an electromagnetic optic effect or optical curve effect is nothing but due to the variation of intensity a change in refractive index occur due to this change in refractive index nonlinear effects will produced in the optical fiber this nonlinear effects is in the form of some losses right nonlinear effects in one another fiber level in the other the normal fiber in the defects were in the non-linear defects ok in non-linear defects on the number a transmit in optical signal the data as a low sound the correct type of low sound that is called the curve effect intensity variation on the down the refractive index will end down the change then we know that the curve effects can be divided into two that is self-face modulation and cross-face modulation and four-way mixing 
okay then first we can discuss about four wave mixing consider three optical frequencies f1 f2 and f3 closely spaced closely spaced right to the three optical frequency in a constraint yeah? and then uh, in terms of wavelength in the terms that are in so the frequency and from f1 f2 f3 transmit here yeah? then from the interaction of the three the moon of frequency in the middle to interact either to a fourth optical wave frequency f fwm that is four way mixing is generated such that f fwm is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 this is known as four way mixing or four phase mixing four way mixing and a four phase mixing that is one little code the frequency uh, uh, optical signal or optical fiber load transmit here and these frequencies thumbly mix it that is a new frequency now that is called four way mixing okay in other other f1 frequency f2 frequency the amplitude and bothered a lot in terms of frequency and length of f is equal to f and minus 1 by lambda and a term than f1 f2 f3 in an angle the language mix it or optical fiber load and a moon frequencies and bone for you moon frequency and only interact in body new frequency produce same that is called the fw that is called the frequency mixing i'm going to new frequency mixing Okay, then second one is cell phase modulation. In cell phase modulation, the optical pulse exhibit a phase shift induced by refractive index and the refractive index varies with intensity of optical signal. Okay, due to Kerr effect, we know that when an intensity changes in, the, in an optical signal, it will change the refractive index. So, in cell phase modulation, due to this change in refractive index, this uh, optical pulse will exhibit a phase shift due to this change in refractive index. This change in refractive index is a curve effect. And the uh, intensity light to transmit aimbo, intensity light to change aimbo, refractive index is a change in the curve effect. In the cell phase modulation, the curve effect is a intensity change in the refractive index. Change uh, mm, phase that is the phase that is the optical pulse in the phase le changes varu. that is called the cell phase modulation okay the most intensity regions of the pulse are down most so they exhibit the greatest phase shift okay high intensity la region le high phase shift ganikum. okay so phase shift on the refractive index index le change varu. so due to this change in refractive index the optical wave the optical pulse in the optical pulse will exhibit a phase shift okay due to this refractive index change and most intensity region will shows a greatest phase shift also a phase shift changes the distance between the peaks of an oscillating function and the oscillating frequency along the horizontal axis due to this phase shift changes the phase shift change is the optical pulses in the phase shift change in the pulse in the middle now, the refractive index every day change with the outer phase shift and out, right? So, if phase shift is above the Kimbo, distance between the two peaks in the oscillating function, if functions oscillating function, the peak will the middle distance change out, other point any oscillating function, the frequency change with If phase shift on the frequency will change with him, the other frequency in a point it combo or at a point. Uh, but then uh, the phase is shifted and uh, then the frequency will change the frequency so that uh, the peak the middle distance will change the peak the middle distance will change the frequency the frequency will change the frequency the peak and the wave will the peak will the middle distance will change the frequency frequency will change the energy okay this is called the cell phase modulation now what is called cross phase modulation cross phase modulation same as cell phase modulation that is due to the uh, change in refractive index a phase shift will produced in a wavelength due to the another wavelength that is one optical fiber a different wavelength light to travel so one wavelength light to the uh, our wavelength refractive index changes luda our wavelength pass it that our wavelength on time the wavelength in the phase shift so one Wavelength of light will vary changes on the where are the wavelength of light will phase shift to vary in a close phase modulation where since uh, different optical pulses with a different wavelength are traveling in a single 
optical fiber right nonlinear optical effect were one wavelength of light can affect the phase of another wavelength of light through optical curve effect optical curve effect on the or part one will could the wavelength of light or optical fiber load transmit transmitting or wavelength of light and you optic pulse on the Davana refractive changes live in a refractive changes a lot of place loader or optical pulse transmit either day other day near right to wavelength to pulses load in the area shift to where in a cross face modulation where they do or wavelength to where in a refractive index change on the where or wavelength to where in a face change in a cross face modulation where okay that's all about curve effect and uh, we have completed the nonlinear effects in optical fiber. So that's all of our today's class. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.